Hello children, how are you all? Hope you are all fine. Enjoying and learning e-classes Samveda? Yes children. Okay children, are you all ready for today's class? Yes, ready. Okay, let us see today's class, the noble bishop. This class will be dealt in two sessions children. Today I will be dealing the first scene. This play is written by Victor Hugo. Ah, story time. Everyone likes story from the elders to the youngers. Don't they? Yeah, children. So, now let us listen to an incident. Children, I am going to narrate you an incident. Listen to it carefully and then answer the questions which follow. Imagine that there is a pet animal named Sondarya. She is a pony. Very friendly with all the residents of the neighborhood. But her master is very passive and unfriendly. An adolescent boy from the next street comes on his motorbike and runs over her accidentally. Sandarya is wounded badly and she is unable to walk easily. She slowly walks into your compound in a pool of blood. She looks at you seeking your help. Ah, as I had told you earlier, I will be asking a few questions related to the incident. Do you remember? Yeah. Okay, now let us see the question. Which is the animal that is referred to in the above incident? So, there are options. Option A, cat. B, a dog. C, a horse. D, a rabbit. Children, guess which is the animal? Ah, correct. It is a horse. Ah, you can see the picture here. Do you remember the name of this pet? Yes, it is Saundarya in the incident. Yeah, you might be wondering that I never used the word horse. But I am telling that the animal is horse. Yes, children. I told the word pony. Pony is the young one of the horse. As pup is the young one of the dog. Kitten is the young one of the cat. And bunny is the young one of the rabbit. Now let us see the next question children. Why do you think that the pet entered only your compound and not that of others? What may be the reason that Saundarya comes only to your house and not to your neighbors? What may be the reason children? Ah, any idea? Okay, let us see. Yeah, because it thinks that you are good, kind, noble and may treat its wound. These are all the noble qualities. Now let us see the next question. How would you treat the wounded pet? The way in which you will be treating the wounded pet. Imagine a pet comes to your house which is wounded. How will you treat it? Yes. Now let us see the different ways of treating. Okay. I would clean and treat its own. Yeah. As in the picture. I would take it to the veterinary hospital. Yes, veterinary hospital is a place where animals are treated. I would do first aid. Okay, children. Now, if you open your book on page 105, you will see the lesson, The Noble Bishop. Do you find any difference between this lesson and the other lessons? Ah, yes, children. The other lessons, the enchanted pool, the three questions, justice about self, they are all like stories. But this lesson is different. Yeah, it's a drama or a play. Now, let us know what do we mean by a drama. Yeah, drama or a play is a form of literature in which the author tells the story through dialogues. It is usually written to be enacted for an audience. You can see here, audience are sitting and they are watching a play, especially the noble bishop only. And the word drama comes from Greek, which means action or play, 
which is derived from to do or to act. Let us see the elements of drama. Plot, plot means the event which is taking place. Setting, setting is the place, characters, people who are involved. Dialogues, the language spoken by the characters. Theme is the idea. Scenery is the background of the drama children. Now let us know about the author Victor Hugo. Look at this picture. This is the picture of Victor Hugo. There is a lesson, the noble bishop in your book, which is written by Victor Hugo. Now let us know the profile of Victor Hugo. Victor Hugo's full name is Victor Mary Hugo. Victor Hugo was born on 26 February 1802 in Bezusu of France. The word B-E-S-A-N-C-O-N is pronounced as Bezusu as it is a French word. He was a French poet, novelist and dramatist of the Romantic movement. His most famous works are the novels like Re Miserabiro and Notre Dame Paris, which are written in French language. These words are of French, so they are pronounced in a different way. Notre Dame de Paris is called as the hunchback of the Notre Dame in English language. In France, Hugo is renowned for his poetry collections such as Re Cotobelezo, that is, The Contemplations, and La Legenda Zeclis, that is, The Legend of the Ages. His famous plays are Cromwell and Hemani. He died on 22nd May 1885 in Paris, in France. Ha! Huh. You listen to the profile of Victor Hugo, children? Yes. Now we will move on to the next. Before moving on to the play, let us see the characters in this play, the noble bishop. This is the most important character in the play, that is Jean Valjean, who is a convict in the play. Next most important character in this play is the character of the bishop. This is Baptist T, bishop's sister. This is the servant in the play. This is the sergeant in the play. Ah, children, are you all familiar with the characters? Ah, okay, okay. Now let us see the first scene of the play, The Noble Bishop, written by Victor Hugo. <laughs> Before moving on to the play, it's important to know the setting of the play. This play is set in early 19th century in France. This is taken from Re Miserabura of Victor Hugo. Re Miserabura is the story of Jean Valjean, a French peasant, and his desire for redemption after serving 19 years in jail for having stolen a loaf of bread. For his sister's starving child. Well, Jean decides to break his parole and start his life anew after a bishop inspires him by a tremendous act of mercy. Let us start the play. This is Bishop's house. Now you can see here Jean Valjean and the bishop's house. It is dark. Jean Valjean is entering the house and in the house Bishop is sitting on the dining table for the dinner and his sister Baptistine is standing thereby. See here, my name is Jean Valjean. I am a convict. I have been 19 years in the galleys. Four days ago I was set free. I have worked for miles. I haven't eaten anything for three days. I have asked at every inn. All I was told was get out. I want food. I am starving. Give me food quickly. Sister, 
put another plate on the table and put some sheets on the bed in the alcove. Friend, sit down and warm yourself. You may be tired. When we have supper, your bed will be made ready. Do you understand? I'm a convict. You call me friend and don't say get out dog. As everybody else does, you must be great soul. Thank you. You are suffering. You are hungry and thirsty. You mustn't thank me. Sister, the lamp gives a very poor light. Bring the silver candlesticks and light them. Baptisting goes to the mantle and brings the silver candlesticks and lights them. You must have suffered a lot. My God, yes, that is a long time ago. That was when I was a man. Now I am not a man. I am a number. Number 24601. And I have lived in hell for 19 years. Tell me about it. About the hell you lived in. It is so long ago. I forget. I lived with my sister and her seven children. Then, yes, I remember. She was ill. We had no food. I couldn't get no work. The children were starving, so I stole some bread. I was sentenced to 19 years in the galleys, 19 years in hell. They began my stay in hell. They chained me up like a wild animal. They lashed me like a hound. I fed on filth for 19 years, 19 years. They took away my name. They took away my soul. And they gave me a devil in its place. I was a man in once. I, I am a beast now. And they made me what I am. Now I am free to starve. My son, you have suffered much. But there is hope for all. You can have rest now. Hope. Hope. Ha 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 ha. You have walked far. You are tired. Lie down and sleep on the couch there. Good night, young man. Jean Valjean was so exhausted that he fell asleep immediately. Towards the middle of the night, he woke up. What awoke him was the bed. It was long, long ago. Since he had slept on a bed, he started reflecting about those 19 years he had been sentenced for stealing bread. He tried to escape many times. Each time he was caught, the court increased his sentence and 19 years had gone by. He had entered the galleys sobbing and shredding. He came out hardened. Once he was free, he asked for work. But no one was willing to take him. The cathedral clock struck two. Jean Valjean thought about the silverware that was laid on the table for dinner. He rose to his feet, hesitated for a moment, listened and walked continuously to the adjacent room. The rays of the moonlight shone on the bishop's face. He slept tranquilly. Jean Valjean stood terrified at this radiant figure. The moral world has no greater spectacle than this, a troubled and restless conscience on the verge of committing an evil deed, contemplating the sleep of a good man. Suddenly, Jean Valjean went past the bed, straight to the cupboard. He saw the silverware, took it, crossed the room, jumped out of the window, ran across the garden, leaped over the wall like a tiger and fled. Ah, did you all enjoy the play? Did you all see what all the things happened in the first scene? Yes. Okay. Now, let us see the highlights of the first scene. Okay. Ah, first one, Jean Valjean entering Bishop's house. 
Jean Valjean's story as a convict and Bishop's friendly and noble nature and Jean Valjean stealing the silverware from Bishop's house and escaping. These are the points which we came to know through this scene. Ah, what you are supposed to do? Everyone is thinking, yeah, you are supposed to do a task. Till next class, go to your English book, see what is there in the second scene. Get the idea and we will discuss in the next class children. Okay, now let us move on to the next segment. A glossary. What is this glossary? Yeah, in the scene, you might have come across many new words. Now, let us know the meaning of those new words. Yes, the first one, convict. Ah, you can see the picture of a convict also here. Ah, that is a prisoner imprisoned for a crime. Ah, let us see its usage. He was convicted in federal court. The next one, galley, ship usually rowed by prisoners. You can see some of them are rowing a ship here. The usage of this in olden days, naval wars were fought in galleys. Now the next word, alcove, a partly enclosed space in the room. You can see here, there is a bed which is tightly fit in the room. This place is called as alcove. Let us see the usage. The bed fits neatly into the alcove. Now the next lash, strike with a whip. You can see the cat here, cat's tail. How the cat is whipping its tail. Let us see the usage. The big cat lashed its tail about threateningly. Now the next word, hound, a type of dog used in hunting. It is especially used for the purpose of hunting. Let us see the usage. In the yard, an old hound greeted us with a single bark. Filth, that is loathsome dirt. You can see the bowl is filled with the food which is spoiled. Let us see the usage of this word. The bowl was filled with filth. Next word, couch, a sofa. Children, do you remember this sofa? Huh? In the scene, uh, Jean Valjean was sleeping and recalling his 19 years in the galleys. Yes, children. Couch means sofa. Let us see the usage. I have a yellow colored couch in my house. Next, let us comprehend children what we have learnt till now in this class. Who was Jean Valjean? Any idea? Any guess children? Who was Jean Valjean? Ah, correct. Jean Valjean was a convict. Now the next question children. Who brought the silver candlesticks? Who brought the silver candlesticks? Bishops asked someone. Do you remember? Yes, yes, correct. It is Baptistine. So Bishop's sister who brought the silver candlesticks. You can see here Baptistine is also standing there with silver candlesticks. Now the next one. What did the stranger steal from the bishop's place? Now the word stranger is not there in the lesson, no? Yeah, here stranger means unknown, unfamiliar person and the stranger here is Jean Valjean. Let us see the answer. He stole all the silverware from the bishop's house. What do you think were Jean Valjean's feelings when he was called friend? Ah, when bishop calls him friend, yeah. How did he feel? Jean Valjean felt some satisfaction when bishop called him as friend. He felt that Bishop must be a great soul and thanked him. He felt good and comfortable. 
Why did Jean Valjean say that he was a beast? Why did Jean Valjean feel that he was a beast, not a man? What may be the reason? Huh? Can you guess the reason? Yes, it is because Jean Valjean was imprisoned and tortured badly in the galleys. He had lost the human qualities. So he said he was a man once, but now he was a beast. What kind of a person was Bishop? Ah, this is about the Bishop's nature. What kind of a person was he? Ah, can you tell? Correct, correct. You are correct. Bishop was a kind hearted and sympathetic man. Why did Jean Valjean hesitate to steal the silverware at first? What was the reason? Do you remember? Ah, he went to the Bishop's room. He stood near him. Then Ah, he stopped for a while. What may be the reason? Yes, that is because he feared that Bishop may awake and catch him. Now, let us see the extracts, some of the extracts from this scene. First one, friend, sit down and warm yourself. Now, the questions related to this extract are, who said this? Who is referred to as friend here? Who said this? Do you remember this line? If you have the textbook, you can search there. You will get this line. Ah, in the first time, second time it is. Okay. Ah, who said this? Ah, it was said by Bishop. Who is referred to as friend here? It is Jean Valjean. Ah, let us see the next one, children. You must be a great soul. Ah, let us see the questions. Then you may get an idea. Till then you search in your book. Ah, the first one. Who said this? Who is a great soul here? Ah, who said this, children? Ah, it is Jean Valjean. Then who is a great soul? It is a bishop. Bring the silver candlesticks and light them. Ah, who said this? Search this line in your book till the next question comes. Yes, who is asked to bring the silver candlesticks? Ah, did you get the answer? Yeah? Ah, it is the bishop who tells bring the silver candlesticks. To whom does he say? Yes, he says is to his sister Baptistine. Okay, let us see next about homophones. Homophones. Homophones are the words which have same sound but different spelling and different meaning. For example, I ate eight apples yesterday. To bake a flour shaped cake, you'll need some flour. Ah, children. You saw about homophones? Now, let us do an activity related to this. Match the following words with their homophones. There are two columns A and B. What you are supposed to do? You are supposed to match the homophones and be ready with their meanings. Okay? The first bread, through, ice, night, beach, in column B, night, beach, bread, ice, through. Ah, children, time is given. Till then, you are supposed to match them. See, as the word itself indicates, homo means similar or same. Phone means sound. That means the words with same sound but different spelling and different meaning are called as homo. Foods. Let us see the answers, children. Ah, ready? B R E A D bread. B R E D bread. What is this bread and that bread? Ah, uh, can you identify first one? Yes, correct. It is a kind of food. Ah, second one then? Ah, it is the past participle of the word breed. Okay, let us see the usage. She toasted bread for breakfast. You can see the picture of the. Bread. Ah, B R E D bread. 
the rabbits are bred for their long coats. Okay, children. Next homophone. Through T H R O U G H through T H R E W through. What is this through and this through? Yeah, first one. Yes, it is a preposition. Second one then. Ah, it is the past tense form of the word through. Now let us see its usage. They walked slowly through the woods. They threw stones at the tree. You can see some of the children are throwing stones. Now the next one. Eyes, e y e s eyes. I c e eyes. What is this eyes and that eyes? Ah, e y e s eyes. Yeah, it is one of our sense organs. Let us see the usage. Her eyes are big with tears. What is this eyes? The eyes is hard enough to skate on. You can see the ice cubes there. Night, n i g h t night. K n i g h t night. What is this night and that night? Ha! Huh, this one is yeah opposite of the word day. Let us see its usage. We can see the stars at night. You can see the stars are shining at night. What is this night? Ah! He was made an honorary knight. Here, knight means title given by the sovereign. Now the next homophone, beach, b e s e h beach, b e e c h beach. Now what are these two beaches? Let us see. The first one. Have you ever been to a sea? Ah, huh? yes, yes. That sea. It is related to sea. It's a nice day for going to the beach. You can see the picture of the beach also. What is this beach? The great beaches towered up towards the sky. That means this beach means it is a kind of tree. Next, children, let us recapitulate what we have learnt till now in this class. First, we came to know about the meaning of drama. We came to know about Bishop and Jean Valjean's characters, the consequences that led Jean Valjean to become a convict. Jean Valjean stealing the silverware from Bishop's house, and we came to know about homo phones. These are the things which we came to know in this class, children. Now the last segment, that is, home assignment. What you are supposed to do is you are supposed to write the home assignment and submit to your subject teacher for evaluation, children. Now let us see the first question. Describe the sufferings of Jean Valjean. My son, you have suffered much, but there is hope for all. This is an extract, children. The questions related to it are: Who is the speaker? Who is referred to as son here? Now the next question, third question: Find the homophones for the given words: wait, hair, alter, tail. And pray. Here is the English textbook of class nine. You can see here QR code is there. If you scan this QR code, children, you'll get much more activities related to this children. Bye, children. Till next week.